All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about what you need to know before you go out and apply for a Barclays credit card so you do not get a hard pull. Now, let's talk about Barclays and what I like about them and what I don't like about them, and then let's get it right into the data points about them, okay? And while I'm thinking about it, smash the like button, number one. Number two, if you've had a Barclays card, which cards do you have? How do you like them? What data points that you have regarding them? Barclays, to me, is an acquired taste. Uh, they're not my favorite credit card, but there's some cards I really do envy. And why do I envy them? Well, they have an, the Emirates card. If you travel, if you travel, you will like Barclays. If you do not travel, I wouldn't even apply to any Barclays card. Maybe you won, but if you don't travel, then these cards probably won't for you won't be for you. Some of the cards that I like on Barclay are the Wyndham Business Card. Uh, the Wyndham Business Card gives you automatic diamond status with Wyndham, which then translates to Caesars Diamond, which then goes into MGM Gold, which then goes into the Hyatt Explorist or Discoverist. It's like the second highest tier with, with, with Hyatt. I'll be doing videos on them later. They have some really good cards. They also have the Aviator Card, which you can get crazy sign-up bonuses to and a companion pass and build American Airlines miles to. They also have the JetBlue card. They have the Choice Rewards. So if you're traveling in the country in the United States, Choice and Wyndham are very economic variants on all the economic hotels outside of you know, Marriott and Hilton. So it makes sense to get those cards if, you're, if you'd like to do economic travel, build up points and rewards and use manufactured spending and get free stuff so um, I like Barclays a lot because they have a lot of great branded biz they have a lot of great branded credit cards and you can check out their website I'll put the link in the description below uh, but they're they have some really enticing um, sign up offers things like that and then they're right now they're doing some pretty good zero APR balance transfer offers so and they run a lot of different um, offers like I had the Apple Rewards card before it got discontinued and turned into a brand new card, which I'll be doing the video of soon. It's a pretty sweet card, actually. But they would always give me like 18 months, 0% deferred interest on an Apple product. And so you could literally get Apple products without maxing out different credit cards and get 0% interest on it. And it was helpful. And so I built up a credit line to 30000 with Barclays. Now, a lot of people that are in the trade, trade line business, they'll tell you that they like it because they're easy to deal with trade lines uh, and selling trade lines to people. So Barclays is very user friendly in the trade line business. If you guys are in credit repair and you want to sell trade lines, Barclays is amazing for selling trade lines. The second thing is, is like I said, they have great uh, travel reward cards where you can build status and then status match into other cards, things like that. Okay, so there's a little bit of a lot for everyone. Hawaiian Airlines cards on there, JetBlue's on there, Frontiers on there. Emirates is on there. Emirates is a good card. A lot of different ones. You guys can check it out on your own. But let's get into this. The problems that I don't like about Barclays is they can be very um, difficult to deal with. So when you apply for a card, obviously they're all going to be hard pulls. Okay, from from my data points and from what I've experienced, they've always been TransUnion that they pulled from. So that's kind of nice if you if you have some TransUnion hard pulls to play with, they could be a good option for you. Okay. Um, you want to be very selective because they have a silent 624 rule. They try to copy Chase. And it seems to enforce this rule when they want to enforce this rule. It's not something that they always do. Um, they, they, they're selective about it. Basically, they're big on why do you want another credit card if you're not utilizing this credit card? They're going to question you. They're going to ask you, um, why, why do you want this card? You just had five cards opened up. Why do you want this card? And so they're going to be kind of like the FBI with you when you call in. They have a reconsideration line. They can reallocate um, credit limit to another card, which City doesn't do from what I know. So what's nice is if you get denied for a card, you could call up the reconsideration line and say, hey, listen, I got denied for this card. I don't know why. I'd really like to have it. Is there a way that we can make this happen? Was there something that I didn't put correct on the credit app? Is there something that you want more information of? How can we get this card approved? Even if it, 
uh, and then they say there's nothing we could do, then you could say, would you mind if we kind of took the credit limit from one card and we moved it to this card to approve this card so that way I can have this card. If you guys don't want to extend me any new credit, that could be an option that you could do as well. But they're really big into using the card. If you're going to apply for a new card and you haven't used your current card, they're, they're gonna be very difficult to deal with. Why should we give you a new card? And that's been kind of the reason why I put off going for the Wyndham card, even though I really want that for the status match, because I live out here in Vegas. So if any of you guys live in Vegas, I would get a lot of these cards because you have the, a lot of perks, free shows, free parking, valet parking, all types of stuff. So if you go to Vegas a lot, this is there's some good cards on Barclays to get. But with all that being said, um, you don't want to run two apps on one day, okay? Um, you're going to get only approved for just one card, even though they're going to pull it numerous times. Don't, don't apply for two cards on one day. Just apply for one. And they want, like I said, they want to make sure that you're using the card before they approve you for another one. And if you do get denied for the card, then you can use the, the credit reallocation tip to try to get approved for it. And who would want these cards, once again, would be anybody that's doing traveling or wants to do the trade line business. And I'll do some, maybe I'll do some videos on that too, so make sure you subscribe. Maybe I'll drop some videos. If you guys want that, comment in the section below if you want me to do some videos on the trade line business. I, I don't mind doing that. I know a lot about it. But that's Barclays, and, and they're kind of their own breed. They're always going to be a hard pull for credit limit increases. They're always going to be a hard hard pull to, to get their cards. They're going to be very difficult with you uh, if you're not using the card and you're trying to get a bunch of different cards. So just keep that in mind, okay? And just also keep in mind they are very new account sensitive. So keep in mind how many accounts have you had in the last 24 months. Unfortunately, they're going to be like Chase with that, but they're not going to be as stingy with that, okay? They're very selective with that. What else can I think about with Barclays? They have pretty good um, takeoff. If you want to do cash advance, they usually have high limits on that. My, uh, I mean, I have a thirty thousand dollar limit on one card with them right now, so that's pretty sweet. But other than that, like, I don't have a problem with Barclays. I would call. I mean, they're like a B player for me. They're not an A card. They're a B card. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know which cards you have with Barclay, what advice you have with data points, with applying for them. If you know anything that I didn't mention, please add it below. Click that like button. Uh, I mean, if you're hearing me right now, go ahead and click that like button. Even if you don't want to subscribe, it gets this video out into, into the YouTube world. Um, YouTube likes interaction and engagement, so when you do stuff like that, it helps other people see this video and learn, and then hopefully it can bless somebody else. So. Uh, love for you to subscribe, love for you to be part of the family, and click like, join the private Facebook group if you want. Link is in the description below, and I will catch you guys on the next video.